What's up guys, my name is Saurabh. In this video, we're going to be talking about Gold, Euro USD and GBP USD. What are the possible opportunities that we could grab in the next week and how we can use them lucratively. And most importantly, what are the important level where we need to concentrate more and as well as what exactly the market did in the previous week. We are just going to take a little bit look over there as well. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Let's get started. Before starting this video guys, I just wanted to discuss a little bit about the premium membership because a lot of people were continuously asking about this one. In this video guys, I'm gonna tell you what exactly my plan and execution when it comes to intraday. Because majority of the time, I usually discuss the weekly analysis where you're probably gonna get the positional trades. But when it comes to intraday, a little bit uh, deeper analysis that I usually do. And these are all the things absolutely my plan, my analysis and execution. That's why the reason I kept them a little bit premium content. You can access these are all the videos and upcoming videos as well by just purchasing this particular plan. At least two to three Forex market intraday videos in the morning itself. I usually do the analysis very morning itself. And what are the opportunities that are actually available in the Forex and as well as a couple of indices as well when it comes to some crucial levels. The first thing first as per the daily analysis you might already know that this particular joint week is actually going to act like py zone because it has grabbed a lot of liquidity and that we already discussed multiple times if you are new to the channel then you can absolutely take a look guys about this one and if you just refine it a little bit uh we probably going to get this particular order flow which is absolutely unmitigated and as well as this particular giant unmitigated week if we just extended this one market has absolutely given a reaction from there itself and started a momentum towards the downside even you might already know i even talked about this one uh it's not about a rocket science guys uh it's just about a basic understanding this is a giant pullback just not only in the early time frame even if we open the daily time frame you are gonna see this giant momentum pullback that's why the reason market has collected the liquidity and moved ahead it doesn't matter that market is bearish bullish always the pullbacks influences the market a lot because every single pullback actually contain a lot of liquidity i'm going to show you a better example in the gbpust later hope you guys got the point point. and right now in the early time frame if you just open the early time frame you are going to see a complete bearish price action and you might already know about this particular level that we already discussed in my premium videos guys this particular unmitigated wick and as well as this particular confirmation which is SEOB and market has mitigated absolutely came downside uh, like this right now market has given a breaker structure and as well as this is going to be the change of character in the early time frame and after breaker structure what exactly the market did first thing first this is going to be our inducement and just after the inducement we got our py zone at this point and before that i just wanted to tell you what exactly we analyzed the market in the smaller time frame like it's not only guys it's about early time frame we are supposed to use multiple time frame uh, at least 15 minute and early time frame to understand the intraday price action that's why the reason uh, if we just shifted to 15 minute time frame this particular order block guys that we already discussed because this is just not only a ordinary order block it has taken the liquidity of previous structure and as well as if you mark the 15 minute structure then this is also going to be our structure this is change of character that's why the reason this is the high probable order block that we discuss in our premium videos and however the market mitigated and given us a SCOB single candle order block this is a very lucrative entry guys because in the next candle itself market has created the single candle order block and this is exactly where i took the trade of course uh this word this trade was absolutely lost but look at the risk and reward it is absolutely more than 11 rr hope you guys got the point and there's absolutely nothing for me to hide any kind of losses of course yeah i did make loss over here if i make profit then i would have been sitting off sitting at least 25 or 26 points and against that i just lost about two points over here in this trade hope you guys got the point and right now according to early time frame like i already told you guys we're supposed to use multiple time frame uh, to analyze the same market same structure according to early time frame the market has swept this particular py zone right now 
if you just take a look in the early time frame it is unmitigated wick high marked and high is not bricked and closed by the market and over here market absolutely didn't sustain that's by the reason guys this particular order block is actually going to act like py zone in the next week if the market came over here mitigated of course we can target this one as well this is absolutely plan a i'm not gonna say that this is 100 going to work this is just a high probable thing and when it comes to extreme py zone this particular unmitigated wick absolutely exists in the market if the market mitigated this one and given us any kind of a strong bearish confirmation it might be early time frame seob and as well as chalk in the smaller time frame we can take the trade over here otherwise if the market failed this one then simply go to the 15 and 5 minute time frame and see any kind of a structure like this pui mitigated after taking inducement we can plan this particular pui as well after failure of this one hope you guys got the point in the gold and even i hope you guys got the point or uh, what what exactly our plan in the gold uh, if the market respected this one absolutely well and good otherwise we simply going to wait for the structure like this after taking inducement mitigated a mode ahead this is exactly what we are going to trade there's even a little bit possibility guys uh sweeping of this particular high make sure to be aware if any kind of a situation happens like this because market is absolutely dynamic nobody can 100 percently assume or imagine what exactly going to happen these are all the things are possibility and we supposed to be ready to take these all the opportunities lucratively that is exactly what the analysis guys in the gold and if we just shift it to a little bit uh, currency pairs then you're probably gonna see a little bit bearish more than bearish a very measy price action like uh, a tons of time chalk if you just open the five minute time frame you literally guys going to manipulate a lot so uh, i'm gonna keep it very simple the first thing first you might guys already know about this particular phase and market absolutely got stuck in a particular range and this is multiple times that i explained that this is non trading zone for the retailers that's why the reason whenever the market break we probably gonna see a clear momentum right now the market has breaked this particular low and absolutely this is breaker structure because price has sustained and the highest point in this structure probably somewhere at this point itself no over here is actually going to be our chalk and where is the inducement and liquidity the first thing first this one is the inducement market has grabbed this inducement and the order flow order block any kind of py zone the first thing first uh this one is just not only a single candle this is as well a pullback guys of course this is not a clear pullback from the ordinary price action point of view because there's only one candle which has taken the high but from the liquidity point of view it has taken multiple candles high that's why the reason this is a valid pullback even we can refine this one uh we're gonna do refinement in the smaller time frame market has absolutely came from very very near from our py zone of course market has filled our imbalance at this point but guys keep in mind of course market has filled the imbalance but this particular imbalance is the decisional order blocks imbalance if the market has filled any kind of a extreme py imbalance then that's going to be a little bit different thing and this is not even a complete order flow as i already told you this is valid pullback valid order block but when it comes to feg this is a little bit low probable thing i guess and if the market has mitigated this particular order block or there's even a lot of possibility that market may sweep this particular high and give us a reaction as well because as i already told you market is dynamic market can do anything if the market swept this high mitigated this one that's going to be a little bit more high probable thing and when it comes to refinement uh for the kind of information guys i personally would like to say there is nothing much refinement over here because if you open 15 minute time frame you are going to see this giant order block which actually covers almost the entire py zone if this one is unmitigated then we can refine it significantly but there is no any much refinement uh even if you open the five minute time frame as well you're gonna see almost similar kind of a price action because as it is five minute time frame this one is also mitigated and most probably we can refine this one but make sure to mark this one only because this is the entire candle order block that's why the reason guys make sure to consider the entire order flow itself instead of marking this one 
uh, because there is no much amount of the difference between refinement and non-refinement and this one is the decision order block this one is as well our extreme order block and if the market has swept this high that's going to be a little bit more high probable thing that's only a thing and when it comes to order flow because a lot of people ask the order flow this one act like the order flow the last buying momentum before the sell and this are all the thing actually happen in between if you just refine it you're gonna see only one thing over here that's only a thing guys if the market failed this one that's also a very possible thing if the market failed this one because this is plan a what if the plan a failed then that's a simple thing if the market failed this one simply open the 5 minute and 15 minute time frame combine both of the time frame and price action analysis if any kind of a structure like this inducement taken out by the market market has mitigated the py zone and any kind of confirmation we can buy at least for the target of this one of course this kind of structure is kind of a very hard thing to see in the early time frame as the entire structure is itself in the early time frame that's why the reason we just need to combine both of the analysis 5 minute and 15 minute time frame at least one or two structure we probably gonna get over here after failure of this one if this one is mitigated and respected by the market well and good we're gonna target this one over here after confirmation if the market failed this one we are going to buy short termly with the target of this one that's only a analysis that we could see guys in the euro usd chart and if we just shift it to GBPUSD, if we just open the GBPUSD uh, chart, then I'm going to explain this particular low guys because a lot of people actually mark the support resistance based on how many, how many times the price action actually tapped over here. Because for example, take a look over here for the very first time market has uh, created this support and second time market has respected, third time market again respected, four time market has respected. That's why the reason a lot of people actually mark this one as the strong support and what usually market do market absolutely came down almost gives us a break structure the existing positions stop loss actually being taken by the market and a lot of people even consider this one break structure and they used to keep the stop loss over here the first ever high and market usually collect the stop losses and more ahead. That actually guys the general and the usual momentum how the market actually works and how market actually collect the money and if you just go through the analysis apart from this support and resistance then you might already know about this particular PY zone because that I discussed that I already discussed this one this was the lower low of the previous structure and almost market has given a breaker structure uh, of course you can consider this one breaker structure or you can even have a little bit more confirmative thing uh, that's up to you guys but only the thing is after taking this particular liquidity we usually mark our internal liquidity and this one is actually going to be our internal liquidity uh, we do have this particular order flow at this point and as well as if you just mark the extreme one which is in the form of unmitigated wig this is a little bit high probable thing uh, because it has taken the liquidity of the previous structure as well if we just see the current price action market has mitigated this one and most importantly it has given a confirmation uh, like single candle order block at this point but we supposed to keep in mind the refined order block is still unmitigated at this point and as well as the single candle order block which is absolutely unmitigated that we supposed to take into the consideration if you just ask me that what i did then simply guys i just went to smaller time frame and over here sweep of liquidity and seob confirmed at this particular candle uh somewhere at this point and however the market was breaking this one because market has already swept the liquidity that's why the reason i just jump into this trade but my bad luck market has didn't uh given my target absolutely came back from the middle itself i totally agree guys this one because market usually move like this uh we do have this particular single candle order block which is absolutely unmedicated if this one failed then we can also target this one because if you just take a look over here this is also last buying momentum which is absolutely unmedicated and a little bit high probable as well so let's put the analysis very simple if the market mitigated this one and given us any significant bearish entry module we can play over here as well if the market didn't respect this one 
then we can plan over here as well. That's only a thing and as you guys already know, if this particular order flow fails, then we can also play smaller time frame, temporary bullish momentum for the mitigation of this one. Hope you guys got the point and I, I do know that there's a lot of possibilities. I absolutely don't want to lie because I usually take trades every single day and I do know what kind of confusion that we probably gonna face. That's why the reason these are all the possibilities that we supposed to consider. If we just shifted to guys the USD JPY, you're probably gonna see guys a uh, bullish momentum but keep in mind bullish momentum is not gonna be forever. For example, if you just open the daily time frame then you might already know market is absolutely bearish if you just take a look over here uh, most importantly i'm gonna focus on this particular high swift if you just take a look guys the past data whenever the market has swept the daily high market always became a little bit bearish over here as well and over here as well whenever the market swept the high the previous high when the market is bullish and as well as bearish low swift a little bit momentum towards the upside is guaranteed almost in every time like the same there's a little bit possibility guys that market probably going to give us a a little bit bearish momentum and might probably halt a little bit rally uh at least market will take this inducement after taking this particular inducement we can plan this particular order flow as well which is unmitigated you can even refine this one order flow which is the decisional one and if you just figure out the extreme one, which is uh, somewhere at this point, unmitigated one, you're probably going to see the order block at this point, which is unmitigated. Of course, this one is a partial mitigation, but yeah, you can refine this one and you can also take the entry over here as well. Hope the video is helpful guys. And thank you so much for watching. Let's see you in the next video. 